Hey guys, what's up? This will be just a quick tutorial on how to convert an animated CoreFX tree into a Corona animated proxy. So let's get started. So let's say you already have done your animation in, in, in GrowFX and you want it to be a Corona animated proxy for your animation flight rules because you need to duplicate those trees so it won't be that heavy. Alright, so first thing you're gonna add a point cache so I'm just gonna show you the timeline it's already animated here All right and then so let's add a point cache modifier on top of the grow effects okay and then we'll click new and then we'll save it here we'll rename it as tree2 okay and then now we're gonna record, uh, hit the record button here so it's gonna record from 0 to 300 based on our timeline here All right. it's gonna calculate here So it's going to hang up for a second because I think it's not showing off in real time. Let's just wait for it. So I'm using Max Tree. You can visit the website. And here yeah, most of the models I've uh, used for the trees are Max Tree library and also uh, Globe Plants. So you can check their websites. They have pretty good presets there. Almost all the trees and plants are already made by them. So it's pretty quick to drag and drop you don't need to model it from scratch though uh, globe plants I think they offer a custom uh, modeling so they can customize if you have some particular plants or trees that you don't have uh, that they don't have on their website and you're, you're looking after some species they can model it for you Okay, we're done. So, so the point cache is already calculated. Okay. And then now we're going to copy that point cache and then convert this one to a mesh. Don't convert it to poly because it won't work. So editable mesh. All right. So as you can see, there's no animation yet. But once we paste that point cache, it's going to show that animation we did from GrowFX so we're gonna delete this one we don't need this anymore all right so now let's say you want to make it into a proxy because you want to duplicate it in your scene for your animation playthroughs all right so let's go to here and then which, which folder you want to save and then go to animated and then active segment or from 0 to 300 you can choose which one or oh, we'll use active time seg segment from 0 to 300 so then three let's just name this one okay so let's so all check so don't use the don't click this collapse and export to single just export each node because it doesn't work with just this one in animated All right so let's export selected as full mesh this exists because I've already did one so we'll just override it I already run a test on this one I'm not sure if it's gonna turn out to be a box in the in the viewport but I did a uh, animation test a real-time animation test with just uh, eight passes so far there's no flicker or anything I'm gonna show you later if this one doesn't work alright so I'm just gonna pause it for now because it's calculating Alright, so it's almost done. 
just keep in mind that the bigger or the the longer your time frame is the higher the point cache the size is all right so it's done now it's already a proxy and i think it's gonna turn into a box see and a viewport not sure why if it if it's my graphics card because i don't have a very high-end graphics card but anyway i've run tests on this one and i'm gonna show you now so far there's no flicker to it all right so here's the animation test that i did just with eight passes for zero to 300 frames so far there's no any flicker even with the eight passes so i think it's the viewport or my video card is is there's something wrong with it or i don't know but if you have that same problem you just turn into a box when you slide this one here time frame um maybe just do a test quick test and then you can use it if it's all good all right so what else did i miss yeah i think that's all for this tutorial and i hope you've learned something and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe thanks